Okay, so today I'm looking for uh, smugglers tunnels. I'm only taking with me a GoPro and an SR1 baton from Olight. I'll be doing a review on this one tonight. Uh, this video is currently up to date. There's about six videos coming in between sort of this one and the current one, if that makes sense, because we've done so many adventures. Um, so yeah, this torch is mental. It's like the smallest thing I've ever seen. That's compared to like a GoPro 5. Uh, so it's up to 900 lumens this, so you get to see how powerful it is. Obviously a bit later on once we find these smugglers tunnels. Uh, a little bit more about this little torch. It's a rechargeable lithium battery, uh, the RCR123A. It comes with this little duty magnetic base that just snaps onto this, just automatically catches on, I'll show it later. And then just obviously plug it into a computer and it will charge itself up and it's good to go. I just can't believe how small this thing is. It's tiny. Look at that. This is the first smuggler's tunnel. It's well hidden actually, it's just off the cliff path. Uh, so let's give this one a test. I'm gonna go uh, first person mouth cam, so excuse the heavy breathing. This is inside. Tell you what, this is the ultimate little pocket kit if you're out exploring you don't want to take a rucksack full of stuff with you wow look at this this is nuts I think we'll make our way down a bit further and see what's uh, see what lies beyond here so it keeps going Possible collapse. Or does it carry on? Wow. So there's an old bottle down there. Old bottle of rum, maybe. It looks like it might possibly go up that way. This would be a good one to come back. Obviously, with the full kit, this is just like a cool, like mini adventure kit one. This one, just the GoPro and the torch in your pocket, and you're good to go anywhere. Another really cool feature about this torch is it's got like a fade out mode. To stop, I think it stops the uh, obviously damaging people's eyes in the dark, you know, with those blue, more well, black spots everywhere. But watch this, that's pretty cool. Another mile further down the coast. I hope the um, audio records okay today because I've just taken the GoPro, I haven't got my microphone attached, so it's just obviously the onboard audio, so it might be a little bit muffled or different to normal. Um, just found a cool way of carrying this torch, it actually clips onto my watch strap. Look at that. I might be able to use it later for sort of pointing. Not quite Tony Stark, but I'm sure there's a Cornish equivalent. The path is down here. <laughs> it goes it goes way down there. That was good. Nice little water feature as That's well. Incredible. The last time I came back was the winter. And all this was a river here. So we've arrived. Here is the smuggler's tunnel. I'm probably only going to show segments of this today because this is an upcoming video series. We're doing one on actual smuggling tunnels only. I'm nearly inside. Wow, you can hear the echo. Here's the first bit, which is always flooded. Actually, it's not too bad today. This is a flooded chamber here. That is crazy. It carries on ahead a little bit further inside. As you can see, the torch is pretty good, actually. Remember how small it was and as to how much it's going to light. Well, it is lighting up this. This tunnel, look. Uh, this is the review. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, we got so many videos coming soon. I just can't get the time to edit them at the moment, but they'll be too soon, I promise, within this week. So I hope you enjoyed the review. My voice is probably booming. So I'm still in this tunnel. 
this torch is really really cool now, like I say I'm not going to show you this whole tunnel today because of it's just it's pretty big and we need to uh, bring more cameras down and more torches to light it up but yeah this torch today has proven itself it is a proper pocket rocket uh, when I get back in a minute I'll do a full breakdown of charging and everything so you can check out the technical specs as well but as far as the field test goes it's absolutely brilliant this torch it's just one like today I just stick in your pocket with your GoPro and you can go like total well freestyle with it you don't have to carry a great rucksack around anymore with torches in if you're out adventuring just uh, reconnaissance and stuff this is absolutely perfect brilliant little throw look, look at this it's a few That's more that. things to mention it's IPX8 waterproof which means it can go below a meter underwater and still be safe uh, also it can be dropped from 1.5 meters and it's impact resistant uh, they're available on the Olight store I'll put a link in the description uh, they're offering at the moment uh, it's 45% off if you buy two of these and uh, there's a very very limited run of the i3 uh, keyring torches they'll throw in for free if you buy them so uh, go and check out the store they've got loads of really cool torches on there and uh, yeah, just say, hope you enjoyed the video.